Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's tutorial, I want to walk you on how I work with water splashes in Blender, how I do the materials, rendering, and also the post processing. Along the way, I'll be sharing some interesting tips and tricks about the overall workflow. The simulation is done using Houdini. Like if you want to know my Houdini process, I can make a separate tutorial about that. Just let me know in the comment. As always, the project file for this one is available on my Patreon, along with many exclusive tutorials, so feel free to check that out. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first, let's take a look at the materials. In here, I have a glass BSDF with the roughness to 2.2 and the IRC to 1.4. I think by default it's 1.5. And here I have a hue saturation with the value of 1.3. I just feel like it adds more exposure to the liquid. You can also do that by opening the color tab and changing the value here, but adding another node that do that makes things clear. In the bottom, I have this chromatic aberration setup, which is basic. I have three glass BSDF two white shaders, mixed shader, and the light path. And in here I have another glass BSDF. The first glass BSDF is red. All, all this tree has the same roughness, but different IUR. Like if you see this one is 1.45, and this one is 1.5, and this one is 1.55. So the difference between this one is 15, is 50, and this one, and this one is also 50. So plug in this and this two into the add shader. Also this one to the add shader. Light path to the factor. And this one to here, this one to here. And this class PSDF controls the IR like if we see. Yeah. Like just make sure the IUR is set up for this is different than this one. And I set up, I give to this zero in the roughness. Add another mix trader to mix these two. I'm trying to find a value that's work the best for you. So if we take a look at the lighting, I uh, have in here only one light source, and the most of the lights are coming from the background, as you see. The background I have in here a plane with a translucent PSDF and an area light behind it with a blue color, right, to create that gradient effect in the background. And also, the closer it is to the object, like if I move this one closer, you can see that some dark, spot, some dark parts are disappearing and if it's far behind and it's far from it's far behind we get this dark look I've tried to find something that worked the best for your situation and add in another area lights in here to make things uh, yeah and add in another area lights just to give some lights to the front like nothing complicated most of the lights are coming from the background you're gonna see that and uh, that's it for the first shot like the as I said the process for the first shot and the second shot is the same one thing that I always do if I'm working with water splashes or any type of liquid is rendering the simulation separately from the object so to do that uh, select the bottle and go to object properties down in visibility check on the holdout option Next, select the background and do the same. Now we have this. But as you see, the splash looks white and they want it to be more blue. This happens because the bottle has this white material and that reflects on the bottle. To fix that, select the bottle and go to the shading and add a glass PSDF. Now as we see, the problem is solved and we have this beautiful splash and if you want to render the bottle just do the same thing this time 
select the splash, go to object properties, and check on the holdout. Then select the bottle in the shading again, switch back to the original material. And that's it. One last thing, if you want to render this, just make sure to enable transparency. You can do that by going to the render setting, down in film, check on transparency. Now we can render the splash and the bottle separately and combine that in the post processing. And lastly, here is my render setting for this one. This just compare side by side with color grading and without. Big difference, right? So let's go to DaVinci. I am in DaVinci 19 and I'm using only the free version. Before we start, I just want to clarify that I'm not a DaVinci expert. So this is just the way I do things. As you see, in my timeline, I have three layers, the splash, the bottle, and lastly, the background. Select the splash and switch to the color tab. We are going to add three nodes. Select the first one and shift the gamma a bit to the blue side. I don't know if you can see the difference, but Blender by default rendered the footage with this gray tint. Select the second node and we can adjust the contrast using the curves, creating that basic is curve. Last one is for saturation. Adjust the saturation to your preferred look. And always adding a glow node on top of everything makes a big difference. And they did pretty much the same for the bottle and the other shots. As you see, my color grading process is not that complicated, it's just simple, straightforward, never skipping your post-processing part. And I think that's it for this one. As always, feel free to ask me any questions in the comment and I'll make sure to answer you. And I'll catch you very soon. Peace.